when you look at Gen Z uh, from in the United States, 20%, I, I'm sorry, yes, 20% of Gen Z are LGBTQ. Yeah. That's a big jump um, that we've seen in terms of people who are out and proud. And, and I think that's, that's, it's a double-edged sword. As we've grown visibility, as we've come out more and more, so has the backlash, right? You were asking earlier, yeah. why is this happening? I think a lot of this is backlash from more and more of us coming out and feeling better about coming out in the world. There is a piece of policy in the United States called the Equality Act that has been sitting in the Senate that has passed through the House um, that that business has galvanized around and has been very vocal that this is an important piece of legislation. This would help codify some of our rights that are under attack right now and would help at least frame or push back on some of these attacks at the state level. But business and multinational businesses have an enormous impact because not only is it their employees that they have to serve, but it's their customers that they have to serve. And being LGBTQ, being climate conscious, or being um, any kind of humanity and, and human issues um, or climate issues are a mandate for this generation, not an, not an additional. Yeah. Um, and I think CEOs are wrestling with that right now. And we're having those conversations. Your values have to align with what your actions are. So if you're saying that you are for human rights and you're for LGBTQ rights and for your in the environment and all of these other important factors in the world, then you better step up where it really counts. And if you don't, you will be held accountable in this day and age, and I think we're seeing that. And that, um, so that is though at a level paralyzing CEOs, right? Because they don't know how to come out or speak out um, on certain topics. And what is the line is, is the question I get all the time. And I say the line is where your values are. The one thing I say is don't put up a pride flag in June and then forget about us for the rest of yeah. the 11th month. Yes. Just that one day, yeah. the one I mean, month. The one month. Yes. Um, you can't market to our community. Um, you can't come in and out of this movement because our lives matter and this is an important factor. And, and just marketing to a community signals that you're just trying to make money off of us as opposed to help us. Yeah.